Hi, I'm Ellen Fora, holistic psychiatrist based in New York City. And did you realize that the so-called monoamine hypothesis of depression, the one that tells us that depression is a serotonin chemical imbalance, is not actually as evidence-based as we're led to believe. It's more at this point a marketing campaign to sell antidepressant medications. So what is actually a more founded principle is what's called the cytokine or inflammatory principle of depression. That is to say that we are inflamed and the way that inflammation throughout our bodies impacts our brain, it makes us depressed. The symptom of an inflamed brain can be depression, which actually makes sense because if your body's inflamed, the precedent for that in evolution is that you have a really terrible infection. And so it makes sense for you to want to socially isolate, go off to the cave, um, not hang out with the rest of the tribe because you might be contagious. You don't necessarily want to eat or have sex or just do all the regular work of daily life. You just want to go retreat, isolate, and heal. Um, and that's a lot like what it looks like to be depressed. Um, but the thing is that it's not a parasite or a microbe these days, it's like our inflammatory diet, it's Doritos. And we, our immune system struggles to fight that inflammation. And instead it's like we reintroduce the microbe with every meal, Dorito at breakfast, Dorito at lunch. And so we're just chronically systemically inflamed and it looks like depression. So one of your best ways to empower yourself to manage your depression is actually to remove all inflammatory foods from your diet and take a really good look at different inflammatory aspects of your daily life so that you can be free from inflammation and free from depression. Hope that helps.